Hello everybody, today I'm gonna open a Nokia 3310, the phone that you know from all the memes all around the world. So first we will start by opening the back and taking out the battery. Side. Now flip it and take off this cover. It's a bit hard for me, but I did it. Take out the keyboard and put it there. You can use a T6 screw or what I'm using a TR6, but it's not required. And unscrew this one. They're very tight, these screws from the factory. They've tightened them very well. One more screw. And we've unscrewed them. Now we can easily take this part. First, actually, we need to clip off this with a Jimmy tool. <laughs> doesn't harm the phone in any way and like, just like that take off the front cover here's the screen if you want to see and the main board these are all the re, like if you look at both of these you see these metal aluminum circles they interact with these pluses and minuses to make short and that's how the board knows if a button was clicked and we can take out the battery port obviously the power button rubber the loudspeaker the SIM, the SIM port, the motor, and this is a bit harder to take out, but all of the charging supplies and microphone, which I think you can also take out, but I, it, I'm not strong enough. And that's actually it. That is all the teardown of the Nokia 3310. Now I will reassemble this phone and show you, give you a look of the menu. So if you're also using this as a tutorial, I'm helping you to rebuild it. So add the power button, the loudspeaker goes in easily. The motor, super simple. The SIM clicks in and is charging. It's a bit hard, but possible. It goes in just like that. Now we add back the main board. It lines up nicely and the screen now we put back the screws in diagonal I would recommend to do it because 
it may one side may pop out if you uh, don't do it diagonally and it will require more effort Just screw them little by little and then the second time fully screw them in diagonally. Oops. Wait a second, there. But actually you don't need to line up the screws, you can just Make sure not to lose one, but you can just leave them lying around in some box because they're all the same size. And now fully screw. They don't crack or jump or anything. They're just the best screws, I think. And last screw. And now we have the base of the phone. So next step is to take the front cover and put the keyboard in and press this in so they do a little click. And you see it doesn't fall out. It goes the front part goes on top first and then clicks on the bottom. Now we can add SIM card and press down and it fits in like a charm. Take the battery, it's common sense, put it in satisfyingly here. And that's the reassembled phone. Now, turn on the Nokia, it pulls up, and now the last part, the most iconic thing of the Nokia. You start with phone book, you go press a few times, till tones, select, and then select again, and that beautiful sound. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.